God bless you. How's everybody? I pray you're doing well. We've been in prayer for you, as you know, as you feel, feel your prayers. Um, as you can tell and you've been hearing, it's more serious than ever. And we want to continue to practice social distancing and take every precaution to protect ourselves and our family and those that we love. So with that in mind, I just wanted to share a brief word with you, just a real quick word to encourage you that there's nothing wrong with you uh, staying in. Uh, using wisdom doesn't mean you've abandoned your faith. Okay, so uh, here's a few scriptures for you real briefly. Um, Isaiah 26, 20, come my people enter into thy chamber and shut thy doors upon thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little while, <clears throat> Excuse me, until the indignation be overpassed. Isaiah here is prophesying that the righteous should hide themselves, uh, particularly in Christ, during the time of distress or during a time of tribulation. When God takes vengeance upon the ungodly, the righteous should shut themselves away from the plagues that God is releasing. Uh, the best example of that we see is in the Old Testament in Exodus chapter 12. Uh, when God was bringing the last plague upon Egypt. And uh, he says, Ye shall take a bunch of hyssop, dip it in blood, strike the lintel, two sides of the doorpost, and put the blood thereon. God says, None of you shall go out at the door of his house until morning. God even quarantines his people. He says, No one should go out of the house until morning. He goes on to say in verse 23, For the Lord will pass through and smite the Egyptians, and when he seeth the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door, and I will not suffer the destroyer to come into your house and smite you. God tells his people, as long as they stay under the blood, as long as they stay in their houses, they'll be protected. As long as they stay under the blood. And in this case, God says, stay in your house. The destroyer won't come into your house. Don't come out of your house. Stay under my protection. Stay where you're protected. Stay in the house. As long as they stayed in their houses, they were safe. Saints, don't be afraid to stay in. Pray and seek God. That's what we're asked to do. Let's do that in the name of the Lord. And let's stay prayerful and careful. Love you. God bless you. Can't wait to see you. You know that's true, don't you? Hallelujah.